I've taken a look at some pretty interesting Sega Genesis clone consoles, but nothing quite like this thing right here. Yes, this is a Genesis clone console. Cartridge slot right there. Put those cartridges in. It's got HDMI as well. Now, this is a prototype. I've been sitting on this thing for a while now. If you follow me on Twitter, at MadLittlePixel, I did kind of talk about this a while ago. And, you know, the company that made this sent it to me to test it, and I've been sitting on it for a while, and it was like, dude, I don't like sitting on products. I like talking about them, so is it okay if I talk about this thing? And they said fine. So that's where we're at today, and I'm sure some of you guys may have an idea of what this actually is, but it is a clone console. It does have HDMI. We could power it up and plug it in just fine, and that's what I want to do. And I also want to, like open it up like we have some screws on the bottom. I want to see what to do on the inside. I, I haven't opened this thing yet, but here we go. We have two players. So you play two players on this little arcade stick action. Six button arcade stick. There we go. Cartridge slot right there. Power and volume. This is a volume slider. We do have speakers built in. So if we plug this into this little monitor right here, our audio will come out through these speakers. Can also come out through the HDMI, through the speakers on this, but very nice with uh, these speakers here. So obviously with this form factor, like I said, some of you guys may already have an idea what this can be used for. And yes, it's like to mod an arcade one-up machine. You don't have to do that with this thing, but it can be used with certain arcade one-up machines where you just swap the control panel and now your arcade one-up is a freaking Sega Genesis instead. It has everything to interface that way. Now, I don't have any arcade one-up machines. I've given them all away that I had. Um, I may have somebody that I know test this out at some point that has one, but it comes with everything you need to interface this to an arcade one-up machine. But like I said, you don't have to. You don't have to convert an arcade one-up machine with this. Got all the cables, all that good stuff. I'm not worried about this, but there are a few different uh, variations of this. Different systems. They have one for the Nintendo Switch that doesn't play Nintendo Switch games, but it's an arcade stick for the arcade one-up that connects to the Switch. And you can play the Switch through your arcade one-up machine with a two-player panel, or you could just use the arcade stick for the Switch. I'll do a video on that one as well, and there's one for the NES, but today I wanted to focus on this one. So there's that. I mean, okay, we're not going to mess with that. The other stuff it came with, it did come with the power cable. We are going to need that. Uh, micro USB. I'll show you the ports in a second. Then it came with an angle HDMI adapter. This is if you're not using this with an Arcade 1UP machine. And it did come with an HDMI adapter, so nice. We're going to test some uh, original games, EverDrive. And I do have, I'm going to test out one uh, little uh, official reproduction cart from Retrobit, Zero Wing. So we're gonna test a few things out. I also wanna open this thing up, but let me show you the ports in the back. So underneath here, we have HDMI, we have power, and then I'm not even 100% what that switch is. Maybe that's turning it on. We'll find out in a moment. And then there's the interface for if you're plugging this into an arcade one-up machine. So I'm gonna plug this angle adapter in there. So there's that. If you want to see the insides of this, we'll do that in a moment after I test this out. So let's get this plugged in. Now, Sega Genesis, there's so many variations with the chipsets with those consoles. Like, you know, mostly with the audio, right? So a lot of these clone consoles don't really do a great job with that. Um, so it's, it'd be kind of interesting to hear how this sounds. Some of them are passable and okay. Some are just really bad. I've tested a few that were cheaper clone consoles, and this thing, from what I understand from the company that produced it, uh, if this does get released, if there's actual interest for it, it's not going to be very expensive. There we go. What's this switch? Uh, oh, the switch. Man, I'm, I'm a fool. The switch is a 16943 aspect ratio. That's a good thing with any of these clone consoles. So I've, I've said it. Plenty of times before with this uh, monitor I have here, which I absolutely love, but this was like a prototype monitor and mine doesn't have aspect ratio switching, but supposedly the newer, like actual release one does. So it's nice to have that because some monitors just, you can't do a damn thing about it. So let's get uh, up close and personal.
So far, sound-wise, I mean, it's coming out of these speakers here, but sound-wise and colors and the way this looks is actually not too bad. I've seen some really bad clone consoles. I mean, it, it, you're looking for premium, you're getting like an analog Mega SG territory, stuff like that, modified uh, original hardware for the best video and audio quality, but this isn't too bad looking, in my opinion. I'm not the hugest Sega person, but this uh, does look okay to me. Sonic 2 and Sonic and & Knuckles, it's registering just fine, showing up. Looking at this screen, looks like the saturation is a little high. Which is typically an issue with a lot of these clones, but I don't think it's overly bad on this. But cool, that works. Ghouls and Ghosts, Master System. Let's see if this works. Uh, just like the uh, Hyperkin color issues, the Hyperkin uh, Mega, whatever it was called, Mega HD. Yeah, we're, we're having color issues with that. That's pretty much uh, what I've seen with the clone consoles on these things. The sound kind of seems off, but I, I'm not really extremely familiar with the Street Fighter 2 version on the Genesis. But it is sounding a little off. Maybe it's running slow. Maybe that's just the way the game is. I don't know. But everything is functioning. The buttons all work. Not bad, not bad. Let's try an NES game on here. <laughs> we don't we don't get the audio. It's just the NES implementation on the uh, Mega EverDrive Pro. Kind of kind of interesting. We highlighted this before. Since we don't have the uh, CD audio because it's a clone console, any Sega CD content or any of these like movie clips that we could load up on the Mega EverDrive Pro, we're not going to get audio. So just got to point that out. Now here's Sega CD. We're, we're not going to get most of the audio, like the music, maybe some sound effects, but since this doesn't have, uh, you know, original hardware built into this, it's not going to, it's not going to sound proper. It's just like if you try to play Sega CD games through the um, Mega EverDrive Pro on the Nomad without modifying it, you'll get like this. Sound effects but no music. But cool, I mean, all this stuff is running. Let's go ahead and swap to uh, the repro cart. So there we go, a pretty competent clone console as far as, you know, compatibility with cartridges and whatnot. So that's definitely a good thing. So let's go ahead and tear this thing down real quick. Take a look at the internals. So I know I didn't mention too much with the, the controls and the stick yet, but uh, from my testing, using it in the past and using it today, uh, they're decent. You know, not low tier crappy buttons and sticks, but mid tier as far as budget stuff goes that are on a lot of devices similar to this. Uh, I would say this is better than most of the stuff that's on like Pandora boxes and whatnot. So there's that, seven and a half out of 10 when it comes to, you know, these no-name brand sticks, which I mean, I'm assuming they're no-name brand, but they do feel pretty, pretty damn good. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. I see, after having taken this part, I was like, what is this uh, board that's attached to this? It's just for the, uh, it has the micro USB for power attached to it. So then it plugs into the board. So there's the bottom piece. And then 
They are looking like Sanwa clones for the sticks. A lot of, a lot of cabling action going on here. It looks like these are the encoders for the controls. And this is the Genesis clone system. <laughs> All like, wow. There's HDMI right here. What? What? That didn't plug into... Oh, it's that plugs down into this. So I was like, is that an extra HDMI? Because the HDMI is pointed down, as you can see there. So yeah, that's the HDMI port. The aspect ratio switch. Some wiring. I'm not sure what all that is. A little uh, wiring action they did there. This is just a prototype, so I mean, it's really no knock at what they got going on here, but it is fairly clean. We get some some little uh, nice speakers here. They got this laid out pretty nicely for those who are interested in stuff like this. I think this is a neat idea. As long as it's sold at a decent price, which is what I've been told, if they do sell these things, it will be at a very reasonable price. So there you go, that's the inside. That was a little bit of testing of this thing. Um, look forward to some testing with the NES version and the Nintendo Switch version. Now, I know I haven't mentioned so far who made this, but this is by Intech Gaming. They've been doing a lot of crazy things lately, man. They're, they're trying, to, trying to get back out there. Uh, you know, they did that Warrior 64 Kickstarter, and uh, I, I'm supposing that thing really kind of... You know, got to them, and uh, they're, they're trying to do some cool stuff, you know, different variety of genres when it comes to retro gaming, trying to do things like this that nobody's really done before. So, kind of cool, kind of neat stuff going on here. Just wanted to share it with you guys. I think it's cool. I mean, if I had an extra arcade one-up machine that I wasn't using, I could see swapping this out with some decent artwork on here and making like a stand-up Genesis console. That would be kind of cool. Decent buttons and everything. Neat idea, neat idea. This guy's got some uh, interesting things going on. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Really do appreciate y'all. And with that said, big ass thumb button your face. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom. Bye.